My name is Royal Hardenstein and I've been at Kaus for almost two years now. Um, I just finished my master's degree in December and I've stayed on to do my PhD here. So I'm a PhD student in Michael Behrman's Reef Ecology Lab within the Red Sea Research Center. One of the projects that um, is kind of a big thing for our lab is working on a whale shark aggregation uh, that's about three hours south of Kaus off the coast of Alif, Saudi Arabia. Our whale shark season starts up in mid-March, about. Um, it kind of depends on when the sharks decide they want to show up. So our first trip is always a gamble. We kind of hope that's when the sharks are going to show up. And it runs through mid to late May most years. So it's about a three-month season, and we're still working on exactly why they show up here. We, we know that it's a feeding aggregation, so the majority of the time we see the sharks, they're up at the surface and they're eating dense, patches of plankton. So we know that it's most likely the food that's attracting them there, but we, we're not sure why that reef, it's called Shipabil, has such a high amount of productivity and such dense plankton that the sharks go there to eat. And outside of the year, based on satellite tracks, it looks like they just kind of bounce around the southern Red Sea. We had some go up to um, Egypt and even a couple left the Red Sea completely and just went to the Indian Ocean. All of our research we do with the sharks is snorkeling. Um, the dive tanks make us too slow. Um, and our sharks are on average about three to five meters in length, so they're juveniles. They're young sharks and they can be pretty quick. So um, keeping up with them is, is the key to getting all the data that we want. We've used a couple of different methods to kind of narrow down when they're there and whether or not they're actually staying there and we just don't know they're there. So one of the types of tags we use is an acoustic tag. And this tag, every maybe minute, minute and a half, it sends off a ping. And that ping says, I am tagged this number. And around the reef, we have listening stations, which are um, basically just acoustic receivers with a hydrophone that if the shark swims within about 500 meters um, and it's tag pings and says, I am tagged this number, it picks it up, we go and we download them at the end of the season and we know which sharks were picked up by our acoustic arrays. For the tags, we, we basically use a tagging needle. Um, so I like to compare it to a girl getting her ear pierced. We try to put the tags close to the shark's dorsal fin because that area has a lot of connective tissue and it doesn't have as much as many nerves as other parts of their body. Basically, for the whale sharks in the Red Sea, the research that um, Mike and the lab started up um, back in, I think it was 2009, 2010, um, was the first stuff coming out of the Red Sea on whale sharks. In general, we also collaborate with um, the Marine Megafauna Foundation, who is out of Mozambique, and we worked with them in Tanzania. Uh, there's a small island off the coast of Tanzania where there's a whale shark aggregation as well. For people who are thinking about coming to Cows for Marine Science, I couldn't think of a better place to study marine science. You're right on the edge of the Red Sea. Um, diving is right on our back door. If you're a diver, it's some great diving. I love it. Um, and I spend as much time as I can in the water, whether it's for work or a little bit of recreation now and then. The faculty is great. Um, I really like the marine science program because a lot of the faculty are very friendly. Um, if you have a course with them and you wanna ask a question or something, most of the time their doors are open. It's easy to go chat with them. A lot of the students end up knowing each other. So if you have someone who does something similar or something that you're thinking about doing for your project, you can go and chat with them and be like, hey, thinking about doing this, what's your advice on proceeding further? Collaborating with other people in the center and other people at KAUST is, is a good way to start to figure out what you want to do for your project and um, for everyone to kind of work together and get it done. <laughs>